Okay. No, you don't have to be scared. Hi, everybody. We're back. I got my, I got Boodle here with me today. Kate wanted to do, so we did this yesterday afternoon after I did a, um, a live video. Kate went upstairs and she was doing it along with me and then she had an idea that she would like to be um, a demonstrator for a kids yoga class today. So I um, said, why not? Let's give it a whirl. Um, so say hi, just wave real quick, just say hi. Say I'm Kate. <laughs> She's being shy. Anyways, if I have taught kids yoga before, um, it's been a while, but I usually do two and done tween classes and even the little kids classes that I've done in the past. Um, just so you guys know, I don't. I use all the same terms for kids as I do for adults, uh, I, so I don't make up like silly names. I'm not gonna like moo and scream down our dog and bark and stuff like that. I find that's odd. But anyways, um, and I think it's super important for even kids like Kate's age to learn the real terms for yoga so they can develop their own practice and just flow right in just like an adult does. So I'll kind of show you what we've done at home and we'll go from there. So you ready, Boo? Okay, so she's going to start in Supta Baddha Konasana. So she's just going to lay on her back. The soles of her feet are going to be together. Her knees are going to go wide and her arms are going to go down by her sides. Palms face up. Close your eyes. And she's just going to start to breathe. So each time you breathe in, think breathe in for a count of four. So we'll start it together. Take a big breath in and out. Okay, now inhale for one, two, three, hold. Exhale for one, two, three, four, hold. Breathe in for one, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three. Exhale for one, two, three, four, hold at the bottom. Breathe in for one, two, three, Four, hold. Exhale, empty. Two, three, four. Good. And then just go back to your regular breath. So just breathe like normal. Don't worry about counting. Just, you know, just your regular normal breath. Take one more big breath in and out. And then on your next inhale, reach both arms up over your head. Straighten out your legs and reach up above your head. Straighten out your legs. Point and flex your feet. Draw your knees into your chest. Give yourselves a hug. And then start to shift your weight from side to side. Take your arms out to a T. Let both knees drop over to the right as you look to your left. And think about pressing the left shoulder down into the mat as you take your knees a little bit further towards the right. And then come back through center and switch it up. Knees over to the left as you look to the right. And then release your twist, hug your knees into your chest. Start to rock and roll back and forth. And then come all the way through to tabletop. You know what we're going to do though, Boo? We're going to switch your map so you face the camera. So I think it'll be easier to see. Some people don't need to see me, they need to see you. And then come into tabletop. So your shoulders are stacked right over your wrists, your knees are right underneath your hips. Take your knees a little bit further. Press the tops of your feet into the mat. Take a breath in and out. Now as you inhale, drop your belly, arch your back, and look up. Uh, come to cow. Exhale, cat. Press the ground away. Pull your belly into your uh, belly button towards your spine. Good. Inhale, cow. Good. Exhale, cat. Beautiful. Again, inhale, cow. Drop and arch. Exhale, cat. Press the ground away. Pull the belly in. Take it one more time. Inhale, cow. Drop your belly. Arch your back. Look up. Exhale, cat. Beautiful. Come back to neutral. Keep your left hand on the mat. So keep stay neutral. Yep, belly button pulled in. Left hand on the mat. Reach your right arm straight out to the side. Breathe in. And then thread your right arm underneath your left. Right temple, right cheek comes to the mat. Hips stay high over your knees. Beautiful. And close your eyes. So 
So all you little, little nuggets out there, if you're doing this with us, just close your eyes. Take a breath in and out. Good, and then come back up to tabletop. Right hand stays down, left arm reaches out to the side. Breathe in and then thread it underneath. Perfect, left temple, left cheek, down comes down to the neck. Awesome. And close your eyes and breathe. You're breathing in and out. Good, take one more inhale and then press your way back up to tabletop. Okay, we're gonna go to down dog. So curl your toes under, lift your hips. Perfect, beautiful. So you wanna think of downward facing dog as like an upside down V. So you're upside down, you think about pulling your biceps and triceps, so your upper arms towards your ears, press into the mat, tailbone lifts a little bit higher up towards the ceiling. Oh, we got a tire shirt, hang on, time out. We need a shirt time. <laughs> Time out, time out. So if you're in down dog, if all of you guys are still in down dog, think about pulling your arms towards each other, press the ground away, lift your tailbone up, and then bend one knee, bend the other. Yep, bend your right knee, yep, switch, bend your left. Bend your right and your left. Take it one more time, bend the right knee and the left, and let both legs come straight. Lift high up onto your tiptoes, and then nice and slow, tiptoe your feet up to your hands. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. Keep your feet hip width distance apart, so split your legs just a little. Bend into both of your knees, so nice deep bend. And then grab opposite elbows, you're gonna hang in right now. And shift your weight from side to side. Give your head a shake yes, shake no. Shake it all out. And take your hands down to the mat. Right hand stays on the mat. Bend deep into your right knee. Left arm reaches up towards the ceiling for a twist. Perfect. Good. Take a big breath in. And switch it up. Left hand down. Bend into the left knee. Right arm reaches up. See if you can look up. Beautiful, kiddo. Take one more breath in. Both hands come back to the mat. Toe heel your feet together, so your feet come together to touch. Lift halfway up, take your fingertips towards your shins, draw your shoulders away from your ears. Fold all the way down. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand, take a big breath in, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Grab your left wrist with your right hand, little tug, reach up and over to the right as you look to the left. Good. Lift up through center, switch it up, left. Hand grabs the right wrist, little tug, up and over. Perfect. Come back to center, take a full breath in, big breath in. Ah, oh, get as tall as you can, reach your fingertips high, and then fold forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. High plank, step it back. So you're gonna plant your palms, the feet step back. Think about being as strong as you can in your high plank. You press the ground away, you pull your belly button in, Shift forward, so your shoulders come past your, past your wrist for just a second. Lower all the way down the mat, nice and slow, yep, belly comes flat. Tops of your feet go into the mat, cobra, head and chest lifts, take a nice big breath in. Forehead back to the mat as you exhale. Inhale, cobra, lift it up. Exhale, lower back down. Last time, cobra, head and chest lifts, big inhale. Child's pose, toes come together, knees go wide, sink your booty onto your heels. And I'll do, I'll show you what, so Kate loves this, because when he, she goes into child's pose, I press just on her lower back. So that feels good, right? Mm -hmm. It's a little stretch. Sometimes they rub her back like this. There you go. I love you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, are we ready? Curl your toes under, lift your hips. You're gonna to come to downward facing dog again, that upside down knee. Inhale, lift high up onto your toes, bend your knees. You're gonna hop or step your feet to your hands. Halfway lift as you breathe in. Full forward, breathe out. Inhale, all the way up to stand, full, big breath in, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Forward, fold empty. Halfway lift, inhale. 
chaturanga so this is our high to low push up so your feet step back and you lower halfway down up dog breathe in downward facing dog breathe out perfect so that's a sun a inhale lift high on your toes bend your knees hop or step feet to hands halfway lift breathe in fold it forward tadasana rise take up tons of space be big and then exhale fold forward Half lift, inhale, chaturanga, hop or step. Beautiful. Up dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out, press the ground away, lift your hips. We'll do one more sun in. Inhale, lift high on your toes, bend your knees, hop or step, feet to hands. Half lift, breathe in. Fold forward. Inhale, rise all the way up to the asana. Exhale, fold it forward. Halfway lift, inhale, chaturanga, so it's that high or low push up. Up dog, breathe in, drop your hips, lift your chest. Down dog, breathe out. Lift your right leg high in the air. Yeah, there you go. Bend your knee and open up your hips. You're drawing your, yeah, there you go. Your right heel's pulling towards your left shoulder. Step your right foot forward, low lunge. So the right foot steps forward, the left knee comes down. Perfect. Both arms reach high. And then just shift back and forth. Stretch in a little. Feels good. How are we doing? Good. Can you say hi? Hi. Just come on. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Revolve your crescent. You're going to take your left hand to the mat. Curl your left toes under. Straighten out your left leg. Right arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Reach up. Look up. Standing splits. Remember this from yesterday? Frame your foot. Your left leg is going to go straight up in the air. Here you go. Perfect. Oh, that's okay. Beautiful. Take a big breath in. Lower your lifted leg. Forward fold. Half lift. Breathe in. And fold it. Chair. Remember? Bend into your knees. Both arms reach high. So get your feet together in chair. So take a two feet down at your feet. Your feet are together, your knees are squeezing together, your belly button's pulling in nice and tight, your arms reach high. Spread your fingers. Take a full breath in. Stay here as you breathe out. Take one more inhale. Forward fold. Half lift, breathe in. Chaturanga, hop or step. Awesome. Upward facing dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Lift your left leg high, so other leg's going up. Bend your knee, open up your hip, beautiful. You look great, honey. Low lunge, step it forward. So the left foot steps, the right knee drops, both arms reach up, and then you're shifting back and forth. Doesn't that feel good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smile. <laughs> Take a nice big inhale. Revolve your crescent, your right hand goes down. Yep. Straight, straighten out your right leg, left arm reaches up, look up, full breath in, standing splits, top of your mat. Beautiful. So it doesn't matter how high that right leg goes, nobody cares. Uh-oh. We got it. Sometimes you got to take a little break. And then take a breath in, lower the right leg to meet the left. Chair, bend into both knees, sweep your arms up. Take a nice big breath in. Fold forward as you breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, hop or step. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Good. Down dog, breathe out. We're gonna go through um, sun B. Okay, are we ready? Step your right foot forward, warrior one. Right foot steps between your hands. The, left, the back foot spins down. Both arms reach high. Interlace your hands. So you're going to interlace your hands except for your index finger and your thumb. Perfect. Press straight up towards the ceiling. It's called Kali Mudra. Can you say it? Kali Mudra. Nice big bend into your front knee. Take a big breath in. Warrior two. Arms open up. Perfect. Look over your right hand. So look towards the camera. Perfect. Drop nice and deep into your front knee. Reverse, so legs stay bent, but the right arm reaches up and back. Take a big breath in. Chaturanga all the way around, high to low. Up dog as you inhale. Perfect, down dog, exhale. 
Left foot steps forward, warrior one. So left foot steps, right heel spins, both arms reach high. What are you doing with your hands? What is it called? Kali Mudra. Bend deep into your left knee. Perfect. And then hips stay square. So think hips off toward, yep, shoulders. Perfect. Take a big breath in. Warrior two, open it up. Where are you looking? Yeah, there you go. Look over the fingertips of your left hand. Nice and deep into the left thigh. Flip your palm reverse. Breathe in, up and back. Woo! <laughs> Chaturanga all the way around. Don't get too crazy. <laughs> Upward facing dog as you inhale. Down dog as you exhale. Good. Lift high on your toes. Bend your knees. Hop or step feet to hands. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Fold forward. Breathe out. Crane. The right leg is going to lift. So we're sweep all the way up. Stand on your left foot. Your right leg lifts. Flex your foot. Good. So take a little balance. We're going to take crane to airplane. So you're going to send the right leg back. Palms stay down. Beautiful. Perfect. Take a breath in. Bend your left knee. Step all the way back. You're going to go high crescent lunge. Step back. Reach up. Look up. Full inhale. Chaturanga down the ground. Up dog, breathe in. Perfect, down dog, breathe out. High on your toes, bend your knees, hop or step, feet to hands. Half lift, inhale, fold it forward. Crane, rise all the way up, left leg lift. So stand on your left, or right, your left leg comes up. Bend your knee, flex your foot. Perfect, take a breath in. Airplane, the left leg goes back nice and slow. Palms down, pull your shoulders away from your ears, your chin draws away from your chest. Bend in your right knee. Giant step back, high crescent lunge, sweep the arms up, look up, breathe in. Chaturanga down and go. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. High on your toes, bend your knees, hop or step, feet to hands. Halfway lift. Fold it forward. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Take your hands to your heart. Close your eyes for just a second. Okay? I want you to press down with all four corners of your feet. So right underneath your big toes, your pinkies, both sides of your heels. Press into the mat. Draw your shoulders down your back. Beautiful. So you want to think as you're as tall as possible. Your thumb knuckles are right touching right between, right in your sternum into your chest. Take a full breath in and out. Good. Now slowly open your eyes. Inhale, reach your arms up. You're going to cactus out your arms. Press into your feet, lift your chest, lay back, standing back on. Reach back up as you breathe in. Hands to your heart tree, we're going to lift the right leg. So stand on your left. Lift your right leg up. Doesn't matter how high it goes. It can come to your ankle, to your calf, all the way up to your inner thigh. Let's stay balanced, moms and dads, if you want to stand behind and just make sure they're cool. And the goal here is to find something to focus on that's not moving. So you find a spot, your drishti, your focal point. I'm looking at the you're looking at that blue square on our piece of art behind there. So you make you focus on something that's not moving and don't let your mind move from that one spot. You doing Prithvi Mudra? Or this one? Okay. Take one more breath in. Can you give me one more breath? <gasps> Hands to your heart. Lower your lifted leg. What do you do with our legs? Give them a shit. Give them a shit. <laughs> okay, and switch it up. Tree pose, stand on your right leg, left leg lifts again anywhere. And you can go ankle, you can go calf. Not, Not your knee though, correct. So the goal is, like I said, drishti focal point. Find something that's not moving. And don't let your mind move from that one spot. I gotcha. Doing great. Don't forget to breathe. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take one more inhale. 
Hands to your heart, lower your lifted leg, and what do we do? We give them a shake. Okay. <laughs> we'll take it down no matter. Are we ready? Woo! Okay. <laughs> you fall. Okay. Inhale, reach both arms up, so come to the top of your mat. Inhale, reach both arms up. One more standing back bend. Cactus out your arms. Lift your chest, lay back. Reach back, breathe in. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Bend your knees, roll all the way down onto your back. You can take happy baby, so you grab the soles of your feet, your knees go wide. Happy baby. Oh, this. Yeah. You can shift your weight from side to side. And then draw your knees into your chest, give yourselves a hug. Take your arms out to a T, let both knees drop over to the right as you look to the left. Come back through center, take your knees over to the other side. And then come back to center, give yourself a hug, squeeze yourself as much as you can, put your forearms around your shins, head and chest lifts, take a nice big inhale. Shavasana, so you're gonna open up, legs go long, arms down by your sides, palms face up, eyes closed. This is just a time for you to rest, to rejuvenate, just to be. Stay my inner. So we say at the end of class, or we talk to the kids a lot about um, nuggets about just be where you are. So don't worry about anything that happened before you got here. Don't worry about what we've got to do next. Right now, just be where you are. Take one more breath in. Yeah, you came out of it too early. Bitter, she's not a good model. Take <laughs> one more breath in. Reach both arms up over your head. Full body stretch, point and flex your feet. Draw your knees into your chest. Give yourselves a hug. Roll over to your right side. And then as soon as you're ready, press your way up to seated. Sit up nice and tall. Hands at heart center. Eyes stay closed. Ready? We're going to take one final breath in together, so let's inhale, sigh it out as you exhale, thumb knuckles up to forehead center, namaste means the light in me honors and recognizes the light in you. With so much love and so much gratitude, we bow forward together and say, namaste. Okay. Yay. So say thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Ask us tell them if, they, if you guys have any questions or you want to see something different or if you want us to do it again, let us know. This is, which, <laughs> woo. Okay, are we ready? Bye, thank you.